All right, guys, the next step is to install the hard drive. So go ahead and slide your hard drive into one of these ports until the um, little screws line up like just like that. Now go ahead and screw away. Alright guys, now once you have your optical drive and your hard drive installed, the next step is to hook them up. First, let's hook up our optical drive with this, the cord that came with it. Now this is the IDE cable, and you can see there are two sides to it. One side is the side that, well, it doesn't have this other nub close to it. This is the side, my side is blue, this is the part that's going to plug into your motherboard. And this other end is the part that's going to plug into your optical drive. This other cable right here is if you have another optical drive or some hard drives are IDE, then this can plug into it. But for now, since we only have one, you're not going to be using this one. Only this end and this end. So let's go ahead, blue plug into our IDE right here on our motherboard there we go make sure it's nice and snug and go ahead and plug this one into our optical drive and you see there are little notches cut out in it and there are also little notches cut out in uh, your pin connector so just make sure that your notch is lined up and you can go ahead and plug that in. And try to be careful not to bend any bend any pins or anything while you're hooking it up. Hopefully I didn't. Now that we got our optical drive hooked up, tuck that cable away. And our next step is to install or hook up our SATA hard drive. So let's go ahead and first connect it to the motherboard. Now this right here is our SATA cable. S-A-T-A. -A. Now what this plugs into is our little slots right here. These black slots on our motherboard that look like little L's. And in case you can't see, these look like little L's as well. Right there you go. One plugs into that, and the other, it's obvious. Plugs right into your hard drive. Now the other thing we need to do when hooking up our hard drive is hook it up so we can hook up the power to it. Now, um, the power supply we got, it doesn't hook directly up, so we need a converter. And this is a serial SATA ATA converter. It converts it. This part plugs into your hard drive, and this part plugs into your power supply. So once we hook this up into our hard drive, we're going to be able to hook it up into our power supply. So go ahead. Again. Where are you, buddy? There you go. Shape like an L. Go ahead and plug it right in here and we are good to go.